Hello, this is Galit Gofarb and thank you very much for joining me here today. Today I'm going to be talking about the three keys to help you achieve your health goals. Now, any reasonable health goal is achievable for everyone. It has nothing to do with any special abilities as some people wish to believe. Accomplishing your health goals has always been about having the will to do what needs to be done in a persistent way while ignoring all of the fearful negative thoughts that try to stop you from moving forward into a better, albeit unknown, future. The only thing that's stopping any of us from reaching our health goals is the lack of willingness to do what needs to be done or fear of change. These negative thought patterns are the only obstacles on our, on our path to achieving what we really want to achieve. We are comfort creatures and we really don't like change. However, change is inevitable and it has brought us to where we are today. Otherwise, we'd still be sleeping under the canopy of a tree in Africa. <laughs> change is something that needs to be celebrated as it always allows progress. And without progress, we will not only have stagnation, but actually regression and depression. Change always benefits us as it makes us stronger and allows us to grow as human beings. Even if a specific change may not seem like something that benefited you, it always helps you become stronger and better as a human. And it de helps develop your self-worth as you see that you can cope with different and sometimes difficult situations. Overcoming fear and devoting ourselves to the necessary actions that need to be taken and may at first not always be comfortable is the first step towards achieving anything new and better in your life. In this video, I will discuss the conflicting thoughts that stop you from achieving your dreams and the three keys to help you overcome them so that you will finally achieve the health goals that you've laid out for yourself. So let's look at the three keys to help you achieve your goals. The first one is overcoming fear. First of all, we all know that fear is a natural part of life. We are actually genetically programmed to be careful since in prehistoric times, the more aware you were of the possible dangers, meaning the more negative you were and careful before taking a risk, the more likely you were to physically survive. But today life is different and the risks we take do not necessarily threaten our survival just our perceived survival of having things remain as they are, as we're used to having them. Therefore, we need to control fear-based thoughts. And the way to start is to first acknowledge these thoughts once they appear. Now, this means becoming more aware that we are having fear-based thoughts when we are actually having them. And even to try to understand what these thoughts uh, are trying to warn us from or trying to save us from and then make the decision to keep going in spite of these negative thoughts trying to hold you back. Now, even though many turn to thought suppression, meaning suppressing those thoughts, the fear will still linger in the back of our mind and will not free you to take the necessary actions to fulfill your desires. The path to suppressing your thoughts has long since been proven to be very counterproductive. Uh, now, thoughts don't need to be suppressed. They just need to be acknowledged. You have to see them for what they are, just thoughts. They are not you who is thinking the thoughts. They are just thoughts. You are separate from your thoughts. Therefore, you can detach yourself from your thoughts and you can also choose very different thoughts if you wish. Since the conscious mind can only entertain one thought at a time, if you are engaging with a negative thought, then at the same time, you cannot engage with a positive one. So once becoming more aware and recognizing your thoughts, you will have a much easier time mastering them and replacing them with more beneficial thoughts. Becoming more aware and noticing your thoughts can be very time consuming at first. And you may be shocked to see how many of your thoughts are actually negative. I was certainly shocked when I began examining my own thoughts in the year 2005. It was a very eye opening experience for me at the time since I seemed to be very happy on the outside as a person. However, I learned that I was actually very negative in my mindset. And this is what brought to a very depressing, unfulfilling and poor life at the time. When I did become aware of my thoughts and change them, my whole life changed to the miracle it is for me today. Changing your thought patterns takes a lot of effort. Once you recognize the negative thought, you want to aim to replace it with a thought of a solution not of the problem. 
For example, when we look in the mirror and we are not happy with what we see, then instead of saying to yourself, oh my goodness, I look horrible or something like that, then you want to say, I am not so impressed with what I see, but this is totally solvable. All I need to do is X, Y, Z, and then I will slowly see the image that I want to see. Now, seeing reality as it is, is very important. It's crucial, in fact, but so is taking responsibility for your current situation. When you take responsibility for your situation, you change from being a victim of the circumstance back to being the creator of the circumstance. And a creator can always change their creation. Exchanging the negative thoughts to more empowering thoughts is the first step. And if you will infuse your thoughts also with emotions of excitement, of love, joy, and fulfillment, then you will come to achieve your goals. And you are already actually halfway at achieving them if you have this positive, uh, emotionally infused mindset. Also, most negative thoughts are repetitive. They form default thought patterns. And once you comprehend that the same feelings have been dragging you down, it will be much easier to get out on top of them and start to control your thoughts in the direction that will benefit you and your goals. The second key to achieving your health goals is willingness to take proper action. You have to be honest with yourself and see if you are willing to do what it takes to get the results that you desire. Nothing in life comes without a price tag. For health, the price tag includes eating more home cooked foods, uh, which may mean that you need to be willing to cook more food, to prepare the food, to be at home a little bit longer than you're used to being. It also means that you may need to be willing to adopt new dietary habits, which may be different from those of your family. You may be, you must be willing to eat different foods from those of your family and your friends. Are you willing to be different to support your health? This is a very important question. It also means that you need to be uh, willing at least to do some of your shopping in a health food sh store instead of your local shop that you are used to doing the shopping. It may also mean that you are willing to eat foods that may not exactly match your taste buds today, but you must believe that your palate will adapt with time. You also need to be willing to continue without seeing any immediate results, but to keep following blindly with a belief that you will see the results with time. And it also means that you need to be willing to get off of that sofa at least three times a week and physically move your body. So are you willing to do the things that not everyone is willing to do in order to see the results that not everyone is achieving? Well, this is the key question because it, this is what it will take for you to achieve different results from what you have today and to provide your body with what it needs to feel good and function at peak performance. So are you willing? The third and last key to achieving your health goals is persistence, but you only really have to be aware of your new thoughts and be willing to make uncomfortable choices for less than two months. Then these actions will become your automatic default behaviors and you will not need any more thought power or effort on your part to carry through with them regularly. The difficult part of being aware of your actions and choices really only lasts for two months. You only need to persist with effort for two months. It's not a lot. And then everything will run smoothly and no more effort will be required. So I ask, is it not worth your time and effort today? Persistence during the initial period is extremely important and without it, there will be no progress. So you must persist at least for two months, but you must do the work for two months. So to summarize, if you are willing to do what it takes to achieve your dreams and you are willing to work on your thought patterns, and improve the thoughts you choose to entertain in your mind, then you will definitely achieve your goals with time, I promise you. And I would love to help you achieve them. If you wish to change your health and your life, it's time to join the Gorilla Diet Bootcamp on our special offer page and get your special discount today so that you too can live the life you desire of peak performance that you deserve. I'm waiting to support you on your journey to lasting health and well-being. So why wait another moment? I hoped you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. Ring the notifications button to get 
information about videos that I prepare once a week at least. And also visit my uh, website, thegorillediet.com with lots of health information for free and also many programs to help you lose weight and achieve the health that you desire. Thank you very much for joining me.